Welcome to Blackademics Learning. It's time to stir your curiosity. Blackademics Learning provides interactive curriculum to support your education. It is an offshoot of Blackademics Television, altering the media landscape. Today we are learning about indigenous technology, anchored by the words of Riders Against the Storm, from Blackademics Television, Season 6, Episode 2. In this lesson, we will learn about the similarities and differences between corporate technology and indigenous technology with help from a dynamic husband and wife duo. First, a question. What are the first few things that come to mind when you hear the word technology? Before our speakers begin, pause and reflect on the question. It's not a part of Riders Against the Storm's speech, but it relates to what you are about to see. Let's move forward with the words of Riders Against the Storm. We are masters of ceremony. And we take the ceremony portion of our work on this planet very seriously. Everything we approach, we consider to be a ceremony and understand deeply the purpose and power behind bringing people together in spaces to allow for new channels of thought and energy to open up, even if just for a moment. Now, what is the difference between corporate technology and indigenous technology? Corporate technology is your cell phones and handheld units, light fixtures, et cetera, et cetera. Indigenous technology is aware of the power that we are. It asks that we operate without using more resources than necessary. The mindset of the indigenous is aware that the natural world needs to be disturbed as little as possible. An African shaman by the name of Malidoma Somme showed his elders a clip of Star Trek. He asked them if, he, if they could recognize what was going on, and they could, but they were wondering to themselves, why are they using so much energy to achieve their aims? This is a fractalized African village. It's neat, humble, made mostly of earth. However, it's still a display of fantastic, sophisticated mathematics. This room is filled with wires and lights and plastics and circuitry, all of which got here on a truck or a boat filled with fossil fuels. Those fossil fuels had to be dug up, refined, processed, and brought here also. Under the indigenous mindset, we are very aware that if I wanted to fill this room full of palpable, usable energy, all I really would have to do is say, everybody say ho! Ho! is a brilliant indigenous science. How far back does this rhythm travel? The DJ was the creator of sound, bringing people together on the dance floor, selecting the rhythms that brought the people together despite coming from environments neglected by mainstream society. These artists produce creative vortexes for disenfranchised youth to celebrate the art of something from nothing. That is magic. There was no blueprint or manual, just an ancient awareness seasoned by an urban landscape and blended with the remixing of modern tools. The nuclear energy born from this local experimentation propelled an international phenomenon that has influenced all areas of modern day life, especially the corporate realm. Our work has less to do with musicianship and has more to do with the art of bringing people together. One truth that we've discovered is that partying is actually the bastard child of ceremony. When we party, we're normally coming under one goal. At one Body Rock ATX, I found myself on the dance floor with a woman dealing with a possible substance abuse issue, uh, a couple with their one month old, and a dude in a panda costume. I don't know. <laughs> I had to ask myself though, why was this working so well? What commonality did they all have? What element were they all enduring? It was just life. 
The indigenous mindset is very aware that life has to be respected in all of its forms and in every way that it radiates. Now, let's process that piece of Riders Against the Storms presentation. If corporate technology is based on fossil fuels, what is indigenous technology based on? How can hip hop music or soul claps and chants be used as energy that brings people together? Think and write about these two questions to process your thoughts and discuss them with other learners. Feel free to use the vocabulary list included in the description below this video. You can also rewind and review Riders Against the Storm's words as much as you need to. According to Riders Against the Storm, the fantastic and sophisticated math of indigenous technology is based on the power of humans without using natural resources or disturbing the natural world any more than necessary. Indigenous technology is based on ancient awareness that can still be applied well to modern tools. Using the brilliant indigenous science of hip hop, the music, soul claps, or chants can fill the room with palpable, usable energy. Rhythms bring people together under a single goal in a magical creative vortex. In an inclusive party atmosphere, all are welcome to be alive in the same space at the same time. Black Academics Learning thanks Riders Against the Storm. And thank you for your attention and for engaging with our interactive curriculum to support your education. This supplemental lesson is designed to enhance your thinking and learning. It is not designed to be your official or exclusive lesson on this topic. Want more of our guided lesson plan? Please click on the description box below for the entire guided lesson plan. Please comment below, hit thumbs up to like this video, and subscribe to our channel, Blackademics Learning. Until next time, stir your curiosity. Goodbye. Thank you.